I don't know guys, I'm having problems. I'm having a real hard time because I love this. <laughs> hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the Milwaukee Packout System. Now, this is a huge deal for me because I am a DeWalt guy, as you all know. And if you've been following me for a while now, you know I've got a ton of tea stacks. There's some right down here. I've got over 40 of them. I've got the DeWalt 2.0. No, I don't. Sorry, 1.0. I'm looking at the 2.0. And I decided to buy this because I think it's time. I don't know. Let's take a look at it though. And, you know, maybe we'll, uh, I don't know, guys, I'm having problems. I'm having a real hard time because I love this. <laughs> so let's take a look at it. This is a three box unit. It's a dolly on the bottom. This is nothing new. This has been around for quite a while now. And I got this at Home Depot in Canada for 220 bucks for the three pieces. It was on sale regularly 300 bucks. Same price as the uh, DeWalt 2.0 system. They're side by side, but Home Depot was having a special. Now, as I said, I'm a little late to the game on the whole review of these systems. They've been out for a while, but if you're new to the channel or new to construction or whatever, maybe I'll be your first, you know, channel to check these out with. So let's get into it. With the pack out system, they've got handles on the front here. And the way they come apart is you pull this little lever up right here inside. You pull this up and these slide forward. It's a pretty slick system. I'm gonna take this one off here so I can kinda make it a little easier for Tiffany to shoot this. And it's harder to do when it's up on a counter. All right, there we go. So you get these three boxes. Now, if you're not familiar with the pack out system, the way they connect, so on the bottom here, they have all these cleats, okay? See all these cleats? And they slip in to the lids of the lower unit. So all the black tops are the female side, okay? And so they all just slide in and then it locks on this front piece here. That's, that's what this is right here, okay? So when I pull on this lever, it's pulling that up. So that's how this system works. By far, in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of guys' opinions, the way this connects trumps every single system out there. DeWalt 1.0, 2.0, T-Stack, um, what else? Versa Stack, you know, the Festool stuff. They... Yeah, Festool's really, really nice, but super expensive. Milwaukee, really nice. You'd compare this to the, the 1.0 or the 2.0 system. This would not be a fair comparison to the T-Stack system. I will be doing some videos comparing both and all three together and showing you all the differences between the boxes. But as far as this mechanism, this connecting, like, it's just awesome. I love it. And that's why I'm having troubles with, you know, should I have bought Packout a long time ago? For the money, for me, I mean, this stuff isn't cheap, right? For 220 bucks for three boxes, that's a lot of money, especially for a guy just getting into uh, construction or whatever they're doing. If you're buying these, you know, it's a little bit of a, a serious investment. Whereas the T-Stacks, you know, they're a lot cheaper and you can carry all your tools in them. They're sort of the same idea. I'm getting off topic. I'm just really, I don't know, frustrated <laughs> that I might start switching how I kind of do things at work. This box here, top one, got these really nice latches. Okay, nice metal latches, super easy to open. On the front, you can put a padlock if you want to lock all this together. And it's got a metal ring on the inside, so you can't just snip this with some 
you know, side snips or something, you actually have to use a grinder to get into this. These boxes are all rated to get wet. And I think if I remember correctly, there are IP, uh, I'll have to write it down. IP, I want to say 65 or 95. 65, yeah, I knew I was right. IP 65 rated. So that means, again, they're awesome. They can be outside, they can get wet, and your tools just, they'll be fine. They'll stay dry. So in this box, you get some nice pull out little containers. And then one below here, it's got some nice dividers. And these come out, so you can kind of customize it however you want. These just slip right back inside. Over here, got the same thing on the bottom. And then this little guy opens up and it's got some slots. These don't come out, okay? So, you know, for your drill bits or whatever. This would be a really good kit for your drill. You could keep screws down here. You could keep your drills in the middle, impacts, whatever you need. And then you could keep more bits and stuff, screws, bolts, whatever you, you guys are doing. So this is a pretty sweet box. But you can also, you know, take all this out, buy some foam inserts, and do a whole whatever you want in here. So, so many different options with these, you know, it's kind of endless. So that's box number one. Box number two has a really nice big handle, okay? This is a lot heavier box, and, and that's one thing. These boxes aren't light. They're, compared to like a T-Stack, these are not light at all. They're really well built. Open this guy up. In here, got a little tray and then a nice big compartment. For measurements here, our depth, we're looking at about eight and a half inches. And then width, we're just under 20 inches. And depth here, we're about 13 roughly inches. So again, perfect for circular saws, your saws all, if you have materials you wanna keep dry, you know, anything. It's just good to go. Now, this one, this is the rolling cart. So we've got some nine inch wheels on here. Okay, just a hair under nine, eight and seven eighths roughly. We've got side handles. I really like these. I like the fact that they don't clip down. They just solid got some rubber over mold on them the hinge is nice big metal poles nothing cheap here at all all right and then if you want to extend this up you press this button and that extends up same latches and then we've got the same little tray and then a nice big box this box is about 14 inches deep and about, same thing, 19 wide and about 13-ish depth-wise this way. This has little tabs at the back that uh, help keep this lid open so it doesn't fall down on you. So it's a little stiff, but it holds it open, which I really like. It's not going to slam on your fingers while you're rooting through your stuff. It's got these great metal bars on all four corners of these boxes. Now these are cool because there's a lot of aftermarket attachments that guys are making for this. And one of them is, you know, for your levels, there's some, some cool things you can get. So if you are interested in the Milwaukee Packout system, there's all types of attachments that you can just put on here. All right. And then to put this back on, 
just line it up, push it forward or backwards, and then it's locked in. So easy. Just locks in just like that. I don't know guys, I'm, I'm loving this red and black. So I'll show you what it looks like on the ground here. So nice and big, all right? And we can add a million pack outs to this if we want. There's all different types of boxes we can get. There's screw boxes, there's bags, there's backpacks, there's vacuums, there's so many things. And we're gonna be getting to that. So lots of videos coming down the pipe, all about Milwaukee pack out. So pretty excited. And uh, yeah, I definitely wanna have some Milwaukee guys commenting down below. Let me know, do you like Milwaukee? <laughs> of course you do, you're a Milwaukee guy. And uh, as you can see the difference, we're not gonna get into it too much, but here's a tea stack. See the difference? Huge difference in size. But these tea stacks are great. And the next video, I'm gonna tell you why and uh, why, you know, I don't think I've completely screwed up my whole tool organization system. All right, guys, leave some comments down below. Hit that notify bell, subscribe. Keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.